this is spaghetti squash and it's also called calabash and vegetable spaghetti and it's because of what happens after you cook it before you cook it it doesn't look anything like spaghetti it's a winter squash it comes off in the late fall and it's available through the winter and most of the time now like this one it's grown in Mexico so it's available year-round now getting into the spaghetti squash is a difficult proposition now some of the cookbooks will tell you to take the raw spaghetti squash and cut it in half I don't do that after I tried that a couple of times I thought this is crazy it's too dangerous it is too hard to cut through you need like a saw and I've tried it with a, my saw knife you know which can cut through most anything but I've decided that safety is an issue in the kitchen so what I do is I take the spaghetti squash I take it whole I punch a couple of big holes in it now that is even dangerous to punch the holes because it is really really hard winter squash have hard shells so I take either my little knife which is one of my favorite knives in my kitchen and I punch holes into it and this one's already done and on this one it is a lot of pressure to get to through the middle so you have to be able to punch holes into them to bake them because they will explode if you don't so I find the easiest way is to take the fresh one is to put a couple of holes in it with my knife through and I do about two, oh, maybe two or three more and then the most of the cookbooks tell you to put that in the oven and bake it well I find that takes too long that takes 45 minutes to an hour to do I like the microwave method and that's what I've done with this one this one was put in the microwave yeah I had about five or six holes in the top part so the steam could come out I put it in it took me about 25 minutes I do them at five minutes a time and then I check it and I turn the pan and so it takes about tw you know four times I have to open the door and turn it I figure that's a lot safer than putting it in the oven it also saves a lot of energy that way now there are some people that put it into the crock pot another great way to cook it you put a couple of cups of water you sit the whole thing in there with a couple of holes in it and you cook it six to nine hours depending on which speed you put it on great way to cook it now we've got it cooked we put it in the microwave or the crock pot my two favorite ways so now I've taken it out and here it is and I'll show you what to do with it so now that we have that one I'm going to move this one out of the way now that we have it all done I'm going to cut it the long way and there's a couple of reasons why I want to do that and let's find out how done I have it and I go around and go around this end the boss blossom in not the stem end and then I try this open and oh man it looks really good I did a very nice job this was 25 minutes in the microwave this one weighed almost four pounds when you got it which is the same size as the one I showed you I'm gonna put this onto my cutting board I'm gonna put my pot my pan away now you can see the seeds the seeds are edible and you actually can keep those for the seeds and so you want to get the seeds out and they're the little hairy things here on top and I use my spaghetti lifter I guess they're called and I take out the seeds let me put these here so you can see them better this is the seeds that are in there and you take out that part that has the seeds on it and you can see those and it's usually orangier looking than the meat of the spaghetti squash there's quite a few seeds in here now if you wanted to keep the seeds they are cooked already because they were inside while that was being cooked all you need to do then is try to get the little seeds off and they're pretty yummy they're a lot like pumpkin seeds they're not quite as big as you can see although maybe pretty close but these are very edible so now I've got the seeds out because you can see now I pretty much have all yellow there's no orange strings in there anymore which were wrapped around the seeds and they come out a different color so now I have my seeds out now I'm going to take out my spaghetti when you take your spaghetti I don't know what this is called spaghetti lifter you can just lift out this stuff 
and it is divided up into spaghetti strands. You see that? And it's all the way down to the shell that way. So you can just take those out. Now, the reason why I cut mine long ways is because I could then mix stuff like meat, some meats, uh, ground turkey is really good with the uh, spaghetti squash. And I could use these as my shells. I could put my meat mixture in here that's mixed with the spaghetti squash and use this as a shell to stick it back in the oven. Because as you can see, especially near the bottom, I am down to the shell. All the meat inside is edible. This is one of the most probably cost-effective squashes you can get, the winter squashes. So anyway, I got that all cleaned out. So now I have a couple of options what to do with this. I can mix this with meat, make it a stuffing, put it back in, heat it up, and then uh, cook, use cooked meat so you don't have to worry about it being cooked. And then you stick that in. And then the other thing you can do is you can pretend like this is spaghetti. And then you have a vegetable instead of a starch, and that's really important for some people to diet. And then you have the choice of, oh, what kind of spaghetti sauce am I going to put on my spaghetti? And one of the easiest for me is that you put some butter, melt the butter in there, and then sprinkle the topping with cheese. And you can put this back in the pot and heat it up. And you sprinkle some cheese on, put it underneath the broiler, or even better, you can have pesto sauce and put on it. And that is delicious on this. Or even, you might even be able to fool the family. Put it on with spaghetti sauce on your spaghetti and just serve it all mixed together. Delicious. It's made from putting sauce on. And then the other thing you can do is make it with the cheese and then the uh, roasted red peppers. Great. Any way you serve your spaghetti, you can use spaghetti squash for that dish. So I'd like for you to go to my website. I have some more information about the spaghetti squash and a lot more toppings that you can use on the spaghetti squash. But it's one of those vegetables that is great to add to the family's meal because it's full of potassium and folic acid.